What's going on everybody and welcome to the RC Retro Channel. I think it's safe to say that if you're an RC enthusiast much like myself and you have a pretty extensive RC collection, you might have had that inner conflict at some point of whether or not you should sell some of your RC cars. I know that's something that I just previously went through which is why I'm making this video. Uh, I challenged myself to a 30 day RC detox challenge where I challenged myself to not spend any money on RC related items. I actually surpassed my goal went above 30 days, actually made it to day 38, and decided to buy something by choice. But regardless, during that time, uh, I had plenty of opportunities to look at what I had in front of me and decided it is way too much, and therefore I'm deciding to sell off some of my collection. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some new in-box kits, some built kits, some custom painted bodies, and some RC parts. I wanna say there's about 20 to 30 different things I gotta cover in a very short amount of time. Now I apologize, this video might be on the lengthy side, uh, but I'm gonna to try to go as quickly as I can through each item, just giving you a brief summary. And I'm actually gonna share the price. So please, don't knock me, don't put rude comments down below and say I'm crazy for what I'm asking. I think the prices are pretty fair. I'm taking a risk by doing this, but I'm just looking to get the money that I spent back. In some cases, I'm probably losing money. I think my prices are pretty fair. And as far as a disclaimer before we get started, uh, I only accept PayPal, so everything must be paid through PayPal. If you'd like an invoice or something like that, um, then we could do that, and then all PayPal fees would then have to be covered by the buyer. So in addition to the payment and the shipping, PayPal fees would have to be covered by the buyer. And I will ship worldwide, you just gotta give me some time to get a shipping quote. And please be patient with me because I'm sure a lot of you will be reaching out to me asking about certain products. Um, so just be patient. All right, so with that, there's really a lot to get to, so let's get started. So we're gonna start off big with one of the most popular RC monster trucks of all time, the Tamiya Cloudbuster, specifically the Black Edition. Now, I'm selling this because I own two Cloudbusters, the Black Edition and the Gray Edition. And well, I don't see a point in having two. And while they're both beautiful RC trucks, I kind of lean towards the gray edition. So I'm gonna keep that one and I'm gonna sell this one. So in the interest of time, I'm gonna read my notes here. So this way I don't keep babbling on, okay? And this way we can get through all of this in a timely manner. So the Cloudbuster that you see here was only ran one time. It's a stock build. The body is painted in gloss black and clear coated. There are some minor chips in it, right where the pins go in, and as well as two right back here in the rear of the cab, and I will post pictures up. Not quite sure how those got there, but those can be touched up by whoever purchases this. Uh, it comes with an Animos 25 kilogram servo, two silver can motors, and the ESC, and I'm even throwing in the Fly Sky receiver, but no remote. And that's all through PayPal for the price of $330 plus shipping. Now, if you're interested, you know where to find me. Okay, the next RC car for sale is a Tamiya TA04S Corvette C5R, which is probably one of my favorite on-road RCs. I use one of these for my stock racing, and I also have one that is factory sealed, new in box, and this is a third one right here, which is lightly used. As a matter of fact, I don't think this body was ever ran on this chassis. There's no nicks or scratches on it. The bottom of the chassis is in rather good condition, very minimal wear on it. However, the wheels and the tires don't look like they're in the greatest condition and a very bad glue job as well. <laughs> However, the good news is, there's a whole other set of new tires and wheels right over here. There are no electronics in this. There's not even a motor. All the spare parts that came with this kit are in the box. And I'm gonna be asking, whoa, 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 time out. I'm gonna do a little pause to the video because as I was editing, I was reflecting. You see, I self-reflect, and I realized that maybe I was asking a little too much money for this Corvette kit. So, the new price is $225 I'm gonna kindly ask for. So, thank you so much, and now we're gonna continue the video. Next, we have the Tamiya 45th Anniversary Porsche 934. This is brand new, factory sealed. There are two stains on the front of the box. I'm not quite sure how they got there. Uh, it was shipped to me in mint condition, and then I had a RC car with the tires sitting on top of this, and I think it has something to do with that. But if you are not 
a shelf queen collector and you plan on building this and running it, then this would be the perfect kit for you. I'm going to be asking for $400 for this kit. And again, you know where to find me. Next up, we have this beautiful Tamiya Mustang Cobra based on the TL01 chassis. This is painted in silver, but I first put a coat of that iridescent paint on there. So it has that purpley green hue to it under the light and some angles. Uh, the body doesn't have any nicks or scratches. However, there is a rub right over here where a little bit of the paint came off. It's hardly noticeable, but the stickers are on there and are not peeling up. A little dusty from sitting on the shelf, but if you're a Mustang fan, then this one is for you. Again, based on the TL01 chassis, I ran this twice. The second time, a little damage uh, occurred, but uh, I bought a whole new chassis and front arms and replaced it so it is in mint condition. I even added a foam bumper because the TL01 did not come with a foam bumper. It came with a plastic one, and this is much better. As far as the wheels and the tires, the tires have no wear, and the wheels, the chrome, is not pitting or scuffed up or cracked. Again, this appears to be in mint condition, even has a high speed gear set included, which I never even got to test out. That's when I rebuilt this, I put that in, but it's gonna come with full electronics. You're gonna get a basic um, Tamiya, I'm sorry, not Tamiya, a basic Futaba servo in here, a Fly Sky receiver, uh, a Tamiya ESC, and a silver can motor, and this thing is ready to rock and roll. I'm going to be asking $175 for this. Right. So next up, we have a Losi Rally Weapon. I know it says Street Weapon on the side. That was one of their other RCs. Very similar to the Rally Weapon, but this is just a Street Weapon body on the Rally Weapon. Don't really know much about it, if I'm being honest with you. I bought this on a whim. I saw it pop up on eBay, and I was like, hey, that looks pretty cool. Future project. And I just sat for over a year and well, I kind of like lost interest. So my loss, your gain, right? So body seems to be in pretty decent shape. Not really much of a stunner, but hey, in decent condition, very basic. As far as the RC itself, well, take a look at that. Look at the bottom of the chassis. That looks to be in excellent to mint condition. There are no scuff scrapes or scrapes scratches on it the bumper is in mint condition so is the rear bumper back here not quite sure why there's two foam bumpers on the front it has these really cool red anodized oil filled shocks comes with a jr or junior racing 250 uh, servo a low c brushed motor in here um, so looks like all you got to do is put your receiver and your battery in here and you'll be ready to go as far as a diff well it seems like it's okay Again, this is a project car, and if I'm being totally honest with you, as I just rolled it, I noticed that there was a whole bunch of green stuff flaking out of it, and as I touch it, it feels like it's rubber, so I'm assuming that these are the, um, the belts that are in here. From what I was reading online, and I remember, I think there's two or three belts that run uh, through the inside of the chassis over here, and they are have a tendency to disintegrate and this is disintegrating right before my eyes right here it's all right over here so this is really is a project car so if you're a low c enthusiast and this one is for you you're gonna have to open this up you're gonna have to replace the belt and because of that i was originally gonna ask 180 dollars for this discount 150 now <laughs> right so again my loss your gain so up next, we have a variety of custom painted RC bodies, starting with this one right over here. This is a custom painted RC10 T body by Andy. It is one of his aftermarket RC10 T bodies, so it is slightly different than an RC10 body uh, that you could purchase from Jake Concepts. It's pretty cool looking, a little different. I like it. I purchased it though about two, three years ago, never got around to using it again. My loss, your gain. I'm asking $100 for this. And again, it is painted and autographed by the man himself, Andy. So I'll put that right over here. This, again, is another Andy's painted RC10 body. Uh, please note it does not come with a wing, but I'm going to ask for $75 for this. 
Over here is an authentic RC10 Viper body. I got this with my world's car when I first got into the hobby about seven years ago. Uh, I used it two or three times, so there are some scuffs and wear to it. Some of the paint is chipping, and I will show you pictures of that. It comes with this frosted wing. I accomplished that using a scotch pad to give it that frosted look. It's in decent condition. I'm going to ask 35 for this. Over here, we have a clear Andes RC10 Renegade body with the wing. Obviously not painted. I'm going to ask for $40. This is a Top Force re-release body, not a reproduction body, but a re-release body that I purchased, painted gunmetal, the body and the wing, and I was gonna do a uh, Top Force Evolution clone, and then wouldn't you know it, a few weeks later, to me announced that they were re-releasing the Evolution as the Evo, or is it the other way around? Can't remember offhand, but either which way, this is a re-release body, authentic to Mia, painted in gunmetal, and I'm going to ask $40 for this. And then over here, no, my Avante is not for sale, but the body and the wing is not the under tray, but the body and the wing in TRF paint color scheme is for sale for $100. All right, something you don't see every day and is quite sought after. I know because I often see people on Facebook inquiring about the Tamiya Toyota Monster Racer front balloon tires. These are ribbed, brand new, still in the packaging, and soft. So I'm going to ask for $100 for these, which I think is reasonable, as I just sold a pair of the rear spike tires for $100, and these are even more rare. Also, I have a RC10 black chassis number 6301 unfortunately I opened it up I did pop the staples off but the original I don't know card stock label is here so this is in mint condition never used never going to use this so I bought it for $85 if I'm being very honest with you I'm going to ask for $85 all right so this one is a little bit of an oddball I got this in the huge RC estate sale for Larry Zabotny. Uh, it was in a lot with other RC cars, one of which was a, uh, to me, a black hood that I really wanted. So I had to bid on everything, and this was one of the RCs that came with it. It's a little bit of a Frankenstein RC, I want to say. It's made up of various parts. Obviously, you have a Tamiya lunchbox body, which is in really good shape, believe it or not. Just a little dusty, painted in black, um, so that's cool. Uh, but as for the rest of it, it's like a hodgepodge of parts. It really is. You have some Goodyear tires that are still soft. Uh, this one does have a flat spot on the bottom. But as for the rest of it, it looks like there was a custom-made box for your battery. There's a tower, hobby servo. Um, I think Kyosho shocks in the rear and gearbox. I don't know. It's really a lot going on with this. So I don't even know what to ask for for this. So I'm going to throw it out to you. If you're interested, make me an offer for this one. All right. All right. We're hitting the home stretch. Only a few more items to go. I promise. And then the big finish. So we have here some NASCAR painted bodies. There are four of them. Three are painted. One is in the process, or at least the original owner started. We have right here a DuPont livery, a little dusty. I think this will clean up nicely. This is smaller than the other ones. I'm going to hold this up so you can see. Uh, they're all different lengths and widths. So there you go. This one, the tied one, is beat up a little bit. So if you want to drill some new holes and mount it up and go out and bash it, then this would probably be the one for you. Over here, we have the Cartoon Network livery. The stickers are peeling a little bit. Maybe some warm, soapy water and a heat gun. You can get that to re-stick and fix it up. Um, but other than that, this one is pretty cool. Um, painted with yellow spray paint. I don't know if they use the right type of spray paint. It's a little gritty and it's starting to flake off. I don't know. It's still pretty cool. 
And then over here we have a Bolink clear body that is masked up. The window trim, I'm not sure if this is painted or if the original owner used a like Sharpie marker, I really can't tell. But they also started to draw out the tied livery on the front. And on the side here, an opposite side over here, they used a hobby knife to etch in Tide, I guess as a template. I don't really know. You could paint this whatever color you want. Maybe get yourself a decal or a sticker to cover this up in the corner. But this is a uh, vintage Bowling NASCAR body, which is pretty cool. And all four of these I'm going to sell or ask, I want to be polite, $50. So next up is an original Kyosho Nissan Double Dare body. This has the factory film over it to protect it. I envision this to be a little bit bigger. For some reason, the person who shipped this to me sent it in this box. Look at the size of this box compared to this. <laughs> That's why I saw this box. I figured this body would be a little bit bigger. I don't know, maybe I was thinking like a 1 8 scale body. It's only a 110. It never dawned on me. Why did the person send such a big box? Oh, well, needless to say, this can be yours for a hundred dollars. You might be saying it might be a little too much, but again, remember, this is an original Kyosho Nissan Double Dare body, not a reproduction. This is an original. Well, this one needs no introduction. It's a late addition to the sale, and I might really regret selling this one, but I haven't built it yet, obviously. This is a new unbox kit. And uh, I figured I'd throw it up here and see if anybody's interested. Now, I purchased this from Kyosho America. Retail price, $359. And that's what I'm going to be selling it as, $359. So if you're interested, hit me up. This is already packaged up in the box and ready to ship. <sighs> it makes me sad I'm getting rid of this one, which is why I'm actually not in the video with it. <laughs> but it is what it is. And now for the big finish, we have Tamiya Kit 58115, the Tamiya Terra Conqueror. This was the second vintage new in box kit I added to my collection, and I've had it for many, many years, and well, I just can't bring myself to building it. I just can't. I did an unboxing video of this on my channel and I'll post a link in the description down below so you could check that out. I'm also going to be throwing up some pictures of this. Right now it's wrapped up in the bubble wrap and it's a pain to take the bubble wrap off and put it back on. So I got pictures up there for you and you can reference that video and see. But I paid a pretty penny for this. Um, so what I'm asking for is not too far off from what I paid for it. I'm going to be asking $550 for this. Again, remember, this is a vintage new in box kit that is in excellent condition. But when you open it up, the blistering is in good condition. It's still stuck on there. The stickers uh, don't have any bubbling or aren't peeling. Um, so if you're crazy enough and you want to build it, I say go for it. If not, this is a great showpiece to throw up on a shelf open it up just to display it. Uh, either which way, I think this is one great looking buggy. And it's one of only two RC cars that Tamiya ever put out to include their hop-up Dynatech 01R motor. This and then the Daytona Thunder you see right over here. These two came with that hop-up motor. Only two RCs that Tamiya ever put out with that motor. So that's pretty cool. All right, so $550 and this can be yours. Well, that's basically everything that I am willing to part with at the moment. Will there be more in the future? Perhaps, but for right now, I feel like that's a good chunk. And just for all of you out there, I am not trying to ruffle any feathers or turn anyone off from the channel or hate me. Um, please don't think I'm being greedy because I'm putting out, you know, all these items and just bluntly saying, this is what I expect for it, X amount of dollars. That's really not the case. Um, I love this hobby. I have a passion for this hobby. I love bringing you all content. Um, but it's a very expensive hobby, especially the vintage aspect of it because things are so old and people command a very high price and oftentimes I'm willing to pay that. 
but looking at my collection, it's just way too much. A couple of things I'm not really interested in. It's overwhelming for me. Um, certain things I'm never going to get to. And so I just want to get the money back um, that I invested into. And for a large number of these, I'm actually losing money. Um, but I'm just trying to break even. And like I said, I don't want to come off as being greedy or anything, but I just felt like YouTube, out of all my social media platforms, Facebook groups, Messenger, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube um, is my biggest audience. And it would just be the easiest just to come right out and just give the prices here because, you know, I don't want to be hit up on all different platforms. You know, I feel like a lot of people are just going to be coming at me. It's going to be hard to keep track. So I'm um, just going to put it out there that these are the prices that I'm looking for. And if you're interested, um, hit me up on Messenger. Uh, I'll give you a shipping quote and then we'll take it from there, right? But uh, again, just looking to unload some stuff because... I don't think it's right for me to have all this stuff if I'm never going to use it. It's just going to sit around. Better off that somebody else could take it and enjoy it and use it rather than just collecting dust in my basement. So, all right. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope that you found something that you like and that maybe that you'll be interested in. So hit me up and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Take care now.